Hey, what's up guys? Sobster here. Today we're going to take a look at my 1993 Lexus SC300. Let's take a look. As you can see there, the car is super clean. Uh, I did 18 inch BBS wheels on it. This car has 143,000 miles on it. It still runs like a new car. Very smooth. Um, I didn't bother putting any coilovers or dropping it like I normally would do with, with most of the cars because I didn't want to change the ride on this car. It's, very, it's a very smooth ride, so I want to keep it that way. I did the calipers, as you can see there. Um, I just added the extra lip under the bumper, so that looks a lot more aggressive. But the stock bumper is nice, but with that lip, it looks more beefy, so I had to do that. Um, the headlights are pretty clear. The paint is immaculate on this car. Okay, let's take a look at the engine. What you're looking at there is the famous 2JZ engine that comes in the Supra. The only difference between that and one in the Supra is the Supra has the turbo and this one doesn't. So this is just a luxurious Supra, or as they call it, this is just a Supra and a tuxedo, minus the turbo. Yeah, basically I didn't really do a whole lot to this car because I didn't want to change the appearance of the car. Um, the fact that there's not so many of these around, I wanted to look as original as possible. So I just brought everything to its original state and just try to make it look as good as they can, but still original. So I didn't want to you know, start doing all kinds of different stuff to it and take away the appearance of the car. So I just did the calipers, stuff like that. Just put some, some nice rims on it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Because a car like that, you want it to look original. You want it to have that, that look from back then. If I start doing all these different things to it, it will probably change the look of the car and that's, that's not what I want. So I kept everything original on it. No extra pipes, no, no extra spoilers, just everything original. I even kept the old antenna. Uh, you guys that know about these cars from back then, you know what that antenna is for. It's not for the radio. And those, of you, those of you who don't know, you found out in a couple of minutes into the video. The car is very clean. I mean, I didn't really have to do a whole lot to it to get it the way it is. But nice compound, play ball, wax, stuff like that. Let's take a look inside. As you can see, the seats are in good shape. The dashboard is in good shape. The interior is, is, a, is in great, very good shape. Door panels, nice and clean. Guess what? That's what that antenna is for. The Lexus phone. Back then, those of you who don't know, back in the 90s, 80s, cars came with cell, I mean, telephones on. It's just amazing to see that the car still has the phone in. There you have it, guys. My 1993 Lexus SC300. Give me your thoughts on this, guys. Should I throw a turbo in there? Or just leave it stock?
Comment below, let me know if I should leave this stock and just ride in this luxury car or should I just put a turbo in there and turn it into a Supra with a luxury, luxurious body. What do you guys think? Comment below, let me know what y'all think. Yeah, I had to run back in. As I was filming, it started raining, so I had to run back to the garage um, and tuck it in. But thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. As I upload different cars every other day or every week. Um, the next car I'll be showing you guys is my 1998 SL500 AMG. So stay tuned. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.